Myth 2. Some languages are just not good enough. Some people have a belief that some languages are just not good enough for certain things. It really does seem this way considering that not too long ago, Latin was mainly just used by the Catholic Church for services and formal communication within the Church, and today Latin is only used by a few who wish to read literature originally in that language, or those who want to understand the roots of their own language. English plays a much different role, as it is now the main international language of the world, and used for most international matters, as well as being the first language to millions of people. Many minority languages, which are now dying out, are thought to be not good enough, since they aren't used for the same wide variety of things that English covers. All of this points to the conclusion that some languages really just aren't good enough. But the same conclusion doesn't explain what they're not good enough for. Some argue that the grammatical structure of a minority language is what makes it inadequate to communicate precise thoughts. But often these languages have a similar structure to other languages that are more widely used showing the fallacy in this argument. Others claim that it is the people of a language that make it worthless, although this doesn't exactly explain why the language isn't good enough. A third reason for why some languages aren't good enough, especially compared to others, say English or German, is because certain topics, say computers, can't be discussed in these inferior languages. It's true, some languages haven't developed words to express ideas, such as atom, software, or nuclear, but developed is the key word here, as Old English can't be used to express these ideas. But that doesn't at all mean that today's English doesn't allow communication of more modern concepts and ideas than Old English did. New words are constantly being added to the vocabularies of languages, not just through borrowing like English has done a lot, but also by simply making up new words, or giving new meanings to old words, which is what Cicero did for Latin, which at one point was thought of as a language that was just not good enough. <laughs>